Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. Tommy, what's going what's on? What's going on? Um, our flower department at my local grocery store I work at has got flowers in, so people will be planting flowers soon. And uh, mm -hmm. we're having really nice weather here. What's going on? Nice, nice. No, that's good, that's good. That's good that your uh, flower department got some nice flowers in and had some good weather going on here. Well, there, but here get rainy weather and um, even in the springtime so um, that's what's going on here um, anyways everyone we have some news for you and we got some stuff to cover so let's get into it go to work and here we go Welcome back everyone. Basically, Tommy, we have some news. So what do you got for this week? What's going on? What's happening? Okay, well, there's a YouTube channel called Bon Appetit, which also uh, happens to be the name of a magazine too. So they also have a YouTube channel. And they're doing a live, um, what they are calling a variety show, this coming Friday, for the World Central Kitchen. Basically what this is, is an organization which is a nonprofit which helps people in times like hurricanes and this current pandemic that's going on right now to get fresh food to first responders, people who can't get out and get food themselves. So that way people who need can get food. So that's what they're doing, the people at Bon Appetit. Sponsored by Bush's Beans, this live event will be hosted by Adam along with Chris and Brian, which is an organization that was founded by Jose who is a celebrity chess and many other people from the Bon Appetit channel. And it's gonna comprise of game show segments, interviews with the editors, as well as their pets will be featured. Right now, all the people that work for them are working from the home, whether it's in the desert, in Long Island, in Mexico, uh, whether in their parents' house, their own house, they're all pitching together to make videos to help out people during these times. Well, Tommy, that's great that they're, you know, doing a lot for food and that Baked Beans is actually doing donation to help others out there. It's great. Um, baked Beans is really good. I've had some Baked Beans. So those of you that have not had Baked Beans out there, I ought to give it a try. And uh, it's good that some of those guys are going to be on and doing some great sensational stuff. Uh, also, the channel Bon Appetit has over five million subscribers. So if you're interested in seeing some Bon Appetit, mwah, yes, that's the way to go. And check that out. What kind of amazing things that you can learn as well. So moving on, Tommy. Well... We have to talk about Mr. Mike Pence. He went into a Mayo Clinic to where people have uh, viruses, coronavirus, and he thinks that he uh, doesn't have to wear a mask because basically um, going into a clinic like that, you want to wear a mask, but Mr. Mike Pence just thinks, oh, even though he's been tested for coronavirus, he doesn't think he's going to get the coronavirus. And so Dr. Mike Pence also thinks the rules do not apply to him of wearing a mask inside a clinic like that. And not only that, the medical staff are saying that everybody needs to cover to their tracks on wearing a mask and, you know, protecting themselves against COVID-19. Yeah, I think that, you know, just because you're a political figure and you think uh, I'm not affected by this, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna catch it. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are because a virus is a virus and it doesn't have a mind of its own. In fact, it, viruses cannot survive without a uh, human or animal host. So the virus is not gonna go, oh, there's a vice president. So I'm just gonna skip him. No, it doesn't work that way. So I think he's, say a bad example for people that might look up to him in his home state as well as any of his grandkids like oh 
grandpa's not doing it, why should I do it? So I think he's a very poor example for uh, people to look up to him and for people in you know, future uh, scenarios are going to go, huh. You're right. A, a virus doesn't have a mind of its own and be like, oh, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Get, I'm not gonna hit the vice president. I'm just gonna do it. You know, go on to the next person. I mean, and you're right about another thing. He's not setting a good example for people out there that should be wearing a mask at the clinic and in other places besides the clinics. Yeah, and another thing uh, is that also another thing about here too. Even if he's not wearing a mask. The type of mask that they were actually wearing, um, if they're not fitting correctly, the water droplets or this, or just the air port particles of the virus can still escape outside of it, and you could still catch it even if you're, um, even if you're wearing a mask, but if it's not fitting properly, not covering your entire uh, face, they've just uh, that's been uh, confirmed by uh, real doctors out there. Right, exactly. So. Um, that's it for this story. Is there anything else before we go, Tommy? Uh, yes, I want to do a quick little thing here. Um, this goes along with um, when we're talking about YouTube, uh, putting you know the, uh, the CDC information on videos and stuff. Well, on top of that, now they are implementing a program that they put place in Brazil and India where they're doing fact checking on topics, um, such as if you were to say um, just Tornado, you're not gonna, you're just gonna get a bunch of videos on tornado, and there's not gonna be a fact checking done. But if you're more specific on the on the topic, like COVID-19, like how many people got sick in this state or that, then it will be put up to uh, the factchecking.org, Washington Post fact checking, and anyone who's part of the international fact checking community can also uh, be a part of this. Who are certified and are part of that community. So basically, going forward, due to the coronavirus also helping to get the right information out there, fact checking things as it comes out, and in the future for other things. So that way people can get the right information as soon as possible and know that there's this reliable uh, news source area where it will show right up where there's this news source, this news source that's been vetted and everything has been fact checked. So that's just another way for them to combat misinformation with the coronavirus and future events and it happened to so that way people can get real accurate information during a crisis or a natural disaster. Well, of course, um, you'll have a new segment, which they call uh, The Shelf. Basically, it's, it's um, like local news segments, things that are directly in the area where the impact, and as well as these fact-checking places. Like I said, when you do a search on YouTube, like say you do uh, like how many people passed away in this state, then you'll have people or if it's talking about a miracle drug uh, in the video or, or, or drugs, it gets up. when there's information coming out, whether it's false or if it's real information, it will be fact checked so that way the ac information is the most accurate it can be. So what everybody could do is check out the stories that me and Tommy are talking about down on the section down below. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, hit that bell so you'll be notified when we're upload another video. That's it for now, and we will see you guys later. So this has been the Top Global Media. Stay safe out there. All right, bye. bye.